So here is the Jesus Procopius. Christ be praised. Yes. Your tooth must hurt. It doesn't look good. What? What are you talking about? Your tooth. I bet it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? Mm. I heard you complaining about it. I overheard you in the tavern yesterday. If I were you, I'd let the blacksmith pull it. Why? I knew a man once who was in the same situation as you. His tooth was sore and he was frightened to have it pulled. And what happened to him? In the end, half his jaw almost fell out. So I wouldn't underestimate it. But... But I can't go to the blacksmith. Don't tell me you're afraid. I am afraid. I don't mind admitting it. You know what? I'll go with you and make sure you get out of there alive. You don't have to be embarrassed. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so... Let's go, then, and get this over with. Lead Procopius to the blacksmith. Well, let's hope the blacksmith is open in the middle of the night. Ha <laughs> ha! It's the middle of the night. <clears throat> am, am I even tired or anything? Let's see, my nourishment is 52, my energy is 77. I'm good. I'm good. Jesus, it's going to be really painful, isn't it? Nah, not really. Welcome, Henry. Yeah, let's let's go to the blacksmith. Okay. Let's go to the blacksmith. Talk to him. Don't worry. It will hurt a little, but then you'll feel relieved. You'll see. If you say so. All right, let's go. Damn. Yeah, damn. I'm trying to get the, the, the my walking speed so that I'm not going, you know, Fast, stop, fast. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> then I bump into him and he says, Damn! <laughs> Damn, son! <laughs> Don't bump into me! Give a special shout out to my friend Oxy. Oxy, Oxy. See, so yeah, that's the tavern, right? We have a ways to walk to get to the blacksmith. We gotta go over the bridge. Can't you run, dude? I mean, seriously. Maybe if I go ahead of him, he'll go faster? God be with you, Henry! No, and then he just calls out to me and says, God be with you, Henry! I don't know. Isn't that a waste of time? Maybe it'll go away on its own. No. Are you mad? It won't go away, it'll just get worse. The sooner we get it out, the better. Yes, yes, you're right. Yes, I'm always right. Listen to me. Where are you going? You're going the wrong way. Dude, that's not the right way. You're not going to the blacksmith. 
I'm, I'm guessing he's going to bed. Because I was crazy enough to do this in the middle of the night. Because <laughs> I thought I was just going to talk to this dude and... <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking clearly. <sighs> clearly, I wasn't thinking clearly. I'm gonna find out where he sleeps at any rate because I'm gonna follow him. You can't get away from me that easily, Procopius. I will get your tooth. You wait and see. Even if I have to knock you unconscious and take it from your mouth myself. <laughs> I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Uh, maybe Procopius will have some food at his house that we can steal. Because you know he's not going to invite us to dinner. Look, I, I can't. It's embarrassing. I I'm a coward and I won't be able to handle it. <clears throat> we're almost there. Just be a man about it. No, You're we're right. not almost there. Let's go. We're not almost there because you turned around and went the wrong way. This is insane. <sighs> Whenever games tell you that their NPCs are the best, they have the God best save AI you, Henry. And, and that the experience is going to be so great, don't believe them. <laughs> Don't believe them, because AI sucks. Always, and again, the AI sucks. So, that's what you could always expect. Give me the bite to eat. was like, you know, the AI said, go to the blacksmith. And then at some point, it said, no, it's time to go back home. And it, it, its messages got all mixed up. That's why whenever people talk about computers taking over the world, <laughs> I just laugh. <laughs> uh... That's nothing to be afraid of, folks. Computers are dumb. <laughs> uh, they're just tools. Might as well be afraid that, you know, your car is going to take over the world, or <laughs> a wrench is going to take over the world. They only do what you tell them to do. And they're dumb. <laughs> <sighs> I think we might actually almost be to the blacksmith. And then he turns around and goes back. Oh, mm, gee, yeah. you Henry, crazy. I'm glad you came. <clears throat> Will you stop acting crazy and just go to the blacksmith? Crazy derp. 
<clears throat> but I noticed that the all the townsfolks are like suddenly they're just like greeting me and stuff and so, like um like they all know me. Let me look at my reputation here. It's 58, so I guess it's gone up by a little bit, because I think it, I started at 50, maybe. I don't know why my reputation at the middle is zero. I guess it's because I helped them out. <laughs> Uh, by looking at protecting Timmy and whatnot. That's what you get for helping people, folks. <laughs> uh... You're going the wrong way, Procopius. La 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 la. You're boring, Procopius. You're going the wrong way. I'm, I'm afraid to. Hungry. I'm afraid to leave you because it might mess up the quest. Oh, this is so utterly ridiculous. Shouldn't have done this at night. Don't do this at night, folks. Don't do any quests at night unless you're supposed to do them at night. Just sleep at night. It's much it's much better. Procopius is an idiot. He walks around in the night. He says he's gonna go Good day, to Henry. the blacksmith, but then he almost gets, then turns around and goes back home. Because he's stupid. He's a stupid Procopius. He's a stupid AI. Hmm. Procopius, did you know that you're an idiot? You are an idiot, Procopius. Lead Procopius to the blacksmith. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think that we All were right, anywhere near the blacksmith. Hold him tight. Let's do it. But it just suddenly <laughs> proceeded. Ah, look! Jesus it's Christ, out! The agony. Hey, want to keep it as what a memento? I, I love it. This? Oh, all right. <laughs> so I finally got his tooth. <clears throat> all right, where am I? So yeah, I was over here. I wasn't anywhere near the blacksmith, which is over here. And it just suddenly, I think the computer says, okay, well, this quest is just not completing the way it's supposed to, so we're just going to force it to complete. All right, so let's have <clears throat> look at my quest. Okay, bring something to the charlatan. Okay. So, it's night, and I need to get food and stuff. So, 
uh, I'm gonna come down here to the inn. <coughs> Bring the tooth to the charlatan. You have a terrible sense of direction, horsey. Oh, my lord. Okay, forget this horse riding. I can't. The horse will just crashes into everything. Okay, so here is the inn. Let's find the innkeeper. Here's some food. And it won't let me eat from the pot. This is the inn, right? Feel some dirty toes. I thought it was. I mean, where's the... Where's the place where you go up to sleep? Oh, here it is. It says you're in a private area. Nobody seems to be around. And so I'm just going to sleep in here. Let's, uh, inventory. Let's see. Let's take off the torch. Even though I didn't pay for the in room. Um, if you can sneak in there, you can still use the bed. <laughs> Starting to get hungry. Yeah, so I'm complaining about food and such, Henry. You're not going to die if you miss a meal. some food of course you can't access your valuables if if you didn't rent the room but other than that you can sleep there <laughs> save a few coins yeah, I wonder if it will let me eat from the pot now nope you will not. Okay. Hello, Mr. Innkeeper. God save you, Henry. Oh, thank you. Try to eat in this pot. Well, I don't want to cook anything. I want to eat from the pot. Of course, if I do have something to cook, then... But I don't. All right, I'm out of here. God save you, Henry. All right, let me look at my journal. 
<clears throat> Bring something to the charlatan. And ask the scaffolder if he put the skull there himself. I think I'll go and talk to the scaffolder. Hmm. I feel quite hungry. Yeah, but nobody will let you eat around here. Oh, there's pebbles. Hey, pebbles! We'll get something to eat soon, Henry. Don't worry. Don't you worry, my fella. Huh. There's a camp there, but no food. How sad. Oh, I'm like going the wrong direction. Typical. Let's see. <laughs> All right. I think I'll go uh, and see if I can find the charlatan and give him things. Out of my way! Damn it, I'm hungry. Why would they make the NPCs walk in the middle where all the horses are when they know that the player is going to be running down the road on a horse? And then all the NPCs are going to complain. Jesus Christ be praised. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid! Splendid! So, show me what you've got, lad. The Tooth of Layman Procopius, which definitely isn't holy. It isn't. But then again, one day, it could be. You never know what course a man's life might take. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get, so if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. Calm now. Don't exaggerate. Okay. Here's a branch from topping out. A branch from a blessed topping out. <coughs> Excellent. And how did you get it down? I had to shoot it down. Watch out for this man. He's a regular William Tell. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. Um, uh... The dice player's talisman. One cat paw for May luck. the Lord watch over you, Henry. Marvellous. Let's just hope it brings us luck as well. So, we've got all that sorted out. And now, to the next matter. My reward. So, about my reward. Not so fast, young man. There's one more thing. It's rather complicated and... <clears throat> Delicate. What thing? A shroud. A shroud? Yes. <coughs> a burial shroud of someone who passed away not too long ago. Ah. Uh, you want me to take a dead person's clothes? I'm just supposed to take a dead person's clothes? Christ, no. I need a burial shroud. The precious enveloping garment in which the deceased is buried. Does it matter who I take it from? And does it matter who I take it from? It needs to be someone who lived an honest life. And I have just the fellow, a good man by the name of Lokota, who recently passed on. Right. So where can I find him? His family is waiting for the funeral. For now, he's lying in the small church in Sasa. Who is this guy? 
And who was this Locator? I know <coughs> only a little, but according to the locals, he was an honourable man. You should certainly try to ask around. All right. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Get the burial shroud. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, just see what I have in the way of food. Uh, let's see, cheese, food, dried fruit. I'll eat that. Dried mushrooms. I'll eat some of those. More dried mushrooms. There's some dried meat. I'm good. Good health to you, Henry. Invite left. Henry, I'm glad you came. Oh, sounds indeed. <clears throat> Card. Where's the entrance to this place? This church. Oh, there's a little trail. It does not lead evidently to anywhere. Oh, I guess this is the entrance. We've already established that they do not like me here. Maybe this is a job to do at night, you know, a stealth job. Save the game. Probably him. What? Okay, I'll have to come back at night. <coughs> hmm. So, let's go and see if we can get that crown. I'm coughing today.
looking at the stuff in the road. I was like, what was that? <laughs> ah! Learn how to ride a horse, idiot! Uh, you're the idiot, Procopias. We've already established that. <sighs> hmm. Go in and see if the crown is ready. Master Jerome. God be with you. Who's the man who just died? Who's the man who died? The one who's lying in the church? Oh, that's old Lakota. He was a respectable fellow. How did he make a living? And how did he make a living? He was a butcher of some renown in the region. And was he from around was here? Was he a local? Oh, no. He came here from Vlashim because of an argument with his brother. We weren't too keen on him at first. His trade took customers away from our old butcher, you see. But we soon realised he was a decent man and we all grew to love him. What about his family? It's a sad loss. What about his family? His wife, Lucy, passed away a long time ago. Poor soul. He was never the same since then. He never laughed from the heart anymore. But he's left two sons behind, Peter and Mark. What about his sons? What are his sons like? Oh, they're sturdy men. Sturdy and straightforward. Mind you, Peter doesn't have any sense of humour that you'd notice. He takes everything as seriously as a sermon. Mark's a more open sort, and a little superstitious. But don't make fun of him. All right. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. No, actually, I wanted to know about the crown. <laughs> what about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. Of course it's finished. Here you have it. Thank the Lord you found that Moldavite. It wouldn't be the same without it. All right. All right, so let me have a look at my quest. <coughs> I'm kind of near this one, so I'm going to go uh, and talk to the scaffolder. Uh -huh. I think I need to end this episode for now. I need to go wash dishes and eat breakfast and stuff like that. So I hope you have enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss a single thing.